world this performance. Like I said, Akko's always been a very, very, very talented player, but this is the farthest he's gone in these things, um, at least these Discord tournaments. So it's nice to be able to put it all together. Because this tournament had no free wins. Everybody here is a killer. There's definitely a lot of results that I didn't expect to happen that have. That's not, that's not a knock on Akos at all. That's just everybody here is a killer. And seeing Akos come out on top like this to make it all the way to winner's finals is pretty cool. So good stuff, Akos. It's like Brent starting his... Brent stuff. that's a link! Oh, okay. He's trying to go for a reset. He instead just blasted through with a DP. Elena gets chipped out by a raw galactic tornado. You know, Red School fire on all cylinders. Head. Okay. Back down now. He's clearly not bothered at all by Elena, being how rare it is that Elena is seen here in these things. And especially because most of his land knowledge comes from Ultra Street Fighter 4, being land was not really that common when Cross Tekken was a regular thing. Keep in mind, Japan thinks Elena is secret top five. Like, their top five, and I've confirmed this not just Esta, but other players, their top five is Huarong, uh, Chun-Li, Law, which is most people's top three, and then you have Ryu and Elena as four and five. Or Elena, Ryu, one or the other. Either way, two of those things are not like the others. But, with the way Akos has been playing Elena throughout this tournament, not gonna lie, He's kind of showing Japan why uh, why they feel that way. Look at this. These combos, it's still going! Look at all this! He keeps going and going. The Energizer Bunny, and you got the overhead link. That's... Oh, no, just barely missed. However, DP threw whatever Dudley wanted to do. <laughs> Let's dance some more. Look at all this. Oh, okay. We talked earlier about how quickly uh, Ruth recovers from dive kicks. Big raw launch. Don't be smashing crouching attacks on me, says Brent. Uh -huh. More empty jump shenanigans, and Brent shuts down Akko's attempt to take first blood, and instead gains it on his own accord. It is now 1-0 Brent here in Winner's Finals. This is, in fact, the Steam version. And uh, how about I give you this instead? I'm sure all the players would appreciate any contribution you might have to the Match Arena link that I just put there. And while you're here, please be sure to check out the Street Fighter Cross Tekken Complete Dossier. If you are interested in learning more about Street Fighter Cross Tekken at this really, really strenuous level. Look at all this. Alright, next slide. Anyway, I'll release the bracket uh, once this tournament's done, if that's all right. Here we go. Whoa! I just had talked about it earlier. If you're not doing a fully air invincible attack, that's what's going to happen. Brent is a master at kind of pulling back his jump-ins. And I talked about it earlier with Brent. I think what he's doing in the corner with Dudley's overhead, it has like a couple of frames where you can hit it meaty. And that makes it easier to combo off of. Ooh, look at that. Whiff and DPs. So we talked about Ruiz's normals earlier. Apart from uh, a lot of uh, really big hitbox ones, um, his stand normals are really strong. Like, he plays cross Tekken extremely well thanks to the boost system, allowing him to convert off those big pokes he has. They normally wouldn't convert off otherwise or Street Fighter 4. Ah, block the first part, not the second. Look at this battle of the big boys. There's that air crush. Nice. All right, so he did a good job walking under both those cross-ups, 
But sadly, um, he got a little bit uh, too overzealous. And, oh, that's a big one. Look at that. He's all the way in Elena's grill. The other side of the screen. Got the overhead again. This is dead. Already. Brent is up 2 nothing here in Winner's Finals. Is that gotcha. Thank you. Expose is right, Dudley. So, a weird quirk about the Steam version is when you click out of the game, the sound turns off. This is very much unlike uh, other fighting games that we typically stream, um, either on my channel or on Arturo's, where sound plays even if the window is not clicked on. No worries. Oh, look at that. Jumped in once, didn't do anything. Jump in twice, gets the cross up. Here comes Dudley trying to bring the big elbow. You saw it earlier, kills back dashes in a way where you get that ground bounce and Dudley gets some pretty big conversions off of it, especially as he pushes Akko close to the corner. DP right through whatever you wanted to do. Is this the end? Good job blocking. Yeah, typically Brent loves to make you think it's from the back or from the front. That time though, Akko's guessed right. Good. Good, good air to air. That's hard to beat. Ugh, I didn't get all of it though. No worries. Bruce is whipping throws right in Bob's face. So Bob's going to convert, and this is going to suck. Look at all his attacks and burning. How are you going to get out of this? A broad attack. Grab nothing, but you didn't get the full punish. Oh no! DP right through. He knows that's not true. He knows that that's a lie. Meanwhile, Bob just pokes right out. But, uh, Ba, 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 ba. Nice. Look at this. So far, Brent's been doing really good uh, anticipating when Bob and Lamb will try to press buttons where they shouldn't. Look at this conversion. We saw it earlier. Such a cool looking conversion. Look at all that. Oh, caught him finally with the air to air. Elbow drop from up top. Armored through. Dully in a bad spot. Look at that. Duck right under and. Brent saved it. It's looking like that was going to be Akos' uh, round, but alas, it was not to be. I won, loser. Will the side of battle turn? Fight. I my game. Yeah, don't. Ah, uh, good. Top of it earlier. Uh, the. How fast it recovers. So, whatever lane wanted to poke with. Even though he went airborne again, he still landed quick enough to uh, get that low attack. It's crazy just how quick Brent recovers with Rufus to make that unique brand of assault. How slow that thing ducks, like an anti-air. Look at that. And his links are always so crispy, like once he has conversions, he's not going to drop it. That's dead. That is dead. Brent moves forward to Grand Falls convincing fashion 3 nothing. Wins. Yeah, Brent, I've been repeating myself a lot about why I'm impressed with the way he plays, but the results speak for itself. I mean, his his confirms are always so crispy, so you have to be on point and make sure he never has a chance for him to confirm anything. You have to play almost flawless neutral. So let's see if uh, Akos can fire back and make it so that he can avenge this somewhat unceremonious trip to losers bracket after fighting through so many capable opponents to make it to where it's found in the first place while Brent sees who his challenger is going to be.